Patriot Prepper here. This is a garden update. These are radishes. As you can see, these are getting big, but there's really, there's a long root to them, but if it's twice the size of pencil lead, that would surprise me, but it, it'll get long. But I've been questioned on how I planted this. I filled this up. It's 12 and a half by like 37 inches, give or take. Uh, 12 and a half foot by 37 inches. And uh, about eight inches deep, approximately in some places. What I did, I put about <clears throat> three inches of cow manure in there. Uh, in the bag cow manure. You can compost your own, save money if you can, uh, got access to a uh, cow farm. Most of those guys will give it to you unless they're using it, you know, or if you have to pay something, give them a little bit of money. Farmers need the help. Well, um, then I put rabbit manure, which I had my own. And rabbit manure, you don't have to compost. You can put it straight on there. And the reason you would do good to compost your cow manure. A lot of times there's weed seeds in there that hadn't uh, fully been uh, killed. So if you cover it with plastic and just let it cook and just turn it and add some uh, leaves and stuff in there too, where you've got uh, nitrogen, carbon, and uh, uh, chicken manure. And on this, I put like um, three inches of rabbit manure and I sprinkled turkey manure that had been dried out for probably three years. And I sprinkled that on here and um, uh, topped it off with a uh, nice uh, pot and soil. And uh, you can see this pot and soil, it stays wet. And I've, I've watered it this morning. But I'll take and uh, pour a whole thing of water on it just to keep it moist. And uh, It'll get direct sunlight here about lunchtime and uh, till the end of the day now. On radishes and stuff, they recommend six hours a day of sunlight. Okay, by the growth cycle, I'm just going to have to let them uh, grow some more and uh, for a little bit longer period. And that's fine too. I've got like 14 rows of radishes. And uh, people say, well, that's, you know... What I do with the tops, I feed those to my rabbits, and then I use the bottoms and salads. And you know, I love radishes; they're good for you. And I've got like three or four different varieties in here. We'll move on down here, right in there. It's still kind of hard to see. Those are green onions, and uh, they're coming up good. There's a couple of stray radishes that are still in my planting. And next to that is my garlic, and I've got some smaller garlic down there on the end that I planted at a later date. But that garlic, once I harvest it, I'll let it sit for a couple weeks in an uh, orange net bag. And then I'll take and I'll chop it up and put it in olive oil in the refrigerator, and it'll keep for a pretty good while like that. And that is some good garlic. But just a small space like this, well, you'll be surprised at how much food you can get from this. And think about it, I don't plant any ornamental plants. If I'm planting something, it's edible. And that's my one rule. If I plant a tree, it's apples. Uh, I just planted a blueberry bush. And uh, I'll be adding more to those. But that's what I do to keep my food supply, especially in these times. We need all food sources we can get. But that'll give you an idea how I did this and the results I'm having at this point. And stay alert and prepared, my fellow Patriots. Patriot Prepper out.